Now, please state your name. I adore I'm a Luigi T. Puffer Fish. The Luigi T stands T. for T. Okay. My name is Wally Le Beaver. Catherine, Kathy, T. Elephant. My name is uh, Robin T. Fox. Roland Thomas Rooster V. My name is Enzo Everup, and I love coffee. Okay. I'm from a long line of southern roosters. I'm from the rooster family of Oklahoma, Georgia. Well, hats off to you for not becoming southern fried. My name's Samantha T. Cat. Well, it is Cat, really. Oh, yes, Paul. I forgot. Paul Bear? Paul Bear. Paul Bear. Yeah. Okay. Are you behind Bear Aspirin? Well, not really. What's your opinion on coffee? I'm an Italian. What do you think my opinion is on coffee? I love it. Oh, I like the coffee. It's very good. Okay. It's, uh, I'm French one, so I really like. You're French. The French like coffee, huh? Oh, yes. French love coffee all the time. It's coffee. I love my coffee every morning. I have to have a cup before I go out and start my job. I supervise chickens on the farm. I see. Oh, coffee's great. It helps me wake up in the morning, and when I'm cold, it helps me warm up a little bit, especially on those cold winter nights when my husband Edward is gone. I think I like coffee, but I have to have it iced. When was the first time you ever had coffee? Oh, well, let's see. I would have just been out of school, you know. Um, well, I think I had it at a McDonald's once. I mean, kind of, oh, sorry, meat by name, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I had it there, and it was pretty good. Okay. But I had it some other places, and it was even better. That's pretty good. Okay, what's your favorite flavor of coffee? Peanut? Uh, <laughs> and how has coffee impacted your life? Oh, it's a great wake-up tool. Well, it makes me jump all over the place, and I get up in the morning, and it's kind of nice. I started drinking it when I was very young. I had to stay awake for school, which was boring. So I drank coffee, and suddenly everything was exciting. Uh, yeah, well, I really don't know about being in, in the box sometimes, and, and things like that. Okay. Has coffee influenced your life in some way? Oh, you say a coffee? Yes. I thought you said coffee. Oh. <laughs> if you could live one day without coffee, what would you do? You wouldn't like me. Oh, if I hadn't have coffee, I might get a little angry. I would be sad. I enjoy it a lot. Coffee is the key to life. You only live once. You gotta stay awake for it. Well, I kind of, I'm kind of a bear when I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I could, but I wouldn't like it too much, but, you know. Well, today is National Coffee Day, so you can enjoy all the coffee you want. Yeah, I really like that. Good. Coffee day. You ever survived a day without coffee? Yes, and nobody liked me. Mm, I can imagine it's such. I was a pain in the you-know-where. I tried not drinking coffee one time. It sucked! Have you ever imagined not having coffee? Yeah, but I wouldn't like too much. Hey! Uh, hey, what? <laughs> Who is that? I think that was one of our sponsors. Ah, uh, yeah, Swiss Miss. <laughs> Swiss <laughs> Miss. <laughs> yeah, it was Swiss Miss. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Coffee is really good. Especially yes. when you're on a nice Alabama night mm -hmm. with your loved ones and you're freezing your butt off and you need some hot something to keep you going. Mm -hmm. Coffee keeps you going. DRINK COFFEE! Well, you know you shouldn't be burning the coffee. Some chains like to burn the coffee. What's your favorite brand? Uh... 8 o'clock. And what time is it now? Uh, it's at 1 o'clock. Oh, what the heck, it's 8 o'clock somewhere, right? It's always 8 o'clock somewhere in the Let's world. go get some coffee. Yeah, let's get some coffee, <laughs> yeah. And there you have it. This is Johnny Jaundice signing off, wishing you a happy National Coffee Day.